بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم today I am going to uh, give you idea about sensors which we are going to use with electro-pneumatic circuits first step I will create simple pneumatic circuit by using double acting cylinder and a five by two way valve double solenoid and I will take it from supplier to port one as you can see here and from port two to create backstroke of the cylinder and from port four to, uh, to create forward stroke here we have two solenoids Y1 and Y2 Now I will go to create electric circuit or we can say control circuit we have as you know 24 volt DC I will use two push buttons here to create forward and back stroke As you can see here, we have the second solenoid, Y2. I will connect it from here, from positive to first push button from push button to relay Q1 and from relay Q1 to make contact Q1 and from make contact Q1 to solenoid Y1 to negative by this way here we have re relay Q1 and here we have make contact K1 and here we have solenoid Y1 and from here we have second push button to relay K2 and here we have make contact of relay K2 to operate solenoid Y2 and this circuit as you can see here we have two push buttons first one to make forward stroke second one to make cylinder retract if I will go for the sensors which we can use here For sensors here, I can go for uh, sensors, one minute, here, this one, approximately sensors. <coughs> I will start with here we have read a switch, this first one. This sensor, name of this one, read a switch, or magnet switch or read sensor or magnet sensor how it works this depend on the specific type of cylinders the cylinder has to be uh, uh, we can say uh, uh, suitable or uh, matching with this type of sensors because the piston of the cylinder it has inside magnet I will tell you how it works now for example if I will go I need here this roller here I will mount here S1 0 0 here S2 
100 100 now here i can mount two sensors s1 and s2 magnet sensor and this magnet sensor or read switch we have to mount on the body of the cylinder why because the piston once the piston it will come under s1 the magnet in the piston will be able to uh, activate s1 so s1 will produce electric signal let us see how it will work now we have push button push button to operate relay key one now what i will do I will remove this line from here. I will cut this line by this way. Now I will take the sensor here. I will go here little back. Now I will use push button to give signal. or to connect power to the sensor S1 by this way it's clear now and I will write here this one S1 it means read the switch this one S1 has to be mounted here ok now once the cylinder Once the cylinder, now once the, I will play by this way. Now once the cylinder it will be in the back stroke. Now S one will be under will uh, will be under the magnetic field of the uh, magnet magnetic which. Uh, you can find it inside the piston of the cylinder now in this case if i will click push button okay now i will activate s1 now uh, i will give power to s1 so s1 will produce signal to q1 and q1 will activate y1 and cylinder it will move out by this way can you see here now if I will click again here by this way no signal because now s1 you cannot see the magnetic now it will go for s2 so th there is no magnetic field for s1 so s1 will not be activated now if I would like to retract cylinder by using S2 here I will take push button here I will remove this line from here now I will connect another sensor one more here see the switch but I will name this one S2 and I will take signal from S2 the signal from S2 to K2 as you can see here by this way Here we have S2. <coughs> okay, so once I will start by this way, once I will click this one here, cylinder it will move out and it uh, cylinder it will activate S2 by this way. Cylinder attract. I can make cylinder by another way, I will delete this button. I will connect this one by this way 
here as you can see here by this way okay if I will use here the tint switch I'll select the switch by this way we can make continuous cycle by this way you can see by this way or by this color we can take one cycle by this way but from this circuit you have to know here we have two read switches or magnetic sensor the sensor we can mount on the body of the cylinder so we can take uh, many advantages from this uh, position because once you are going to you mount a uh, cylinder with the sensor uh, no need to create uh, a frame to mount sensors or the sensors you can add the sensor direct directly on the body of the cylinder that's very good very good uh, advantage for you so one the cylinder it will be in the back stroke it will activate s1 so s1 will produce signal to k1 k1 will produce signal to solenoid y1 cylinder it will go out one cylinder it will reach out it will the magnetic and the piston will activate s2 and s2 will produce signal to k2 and k2 will operate y2 cylinder it will retract back again by this way here we used magnetic sensor we have another types of sensors here we have optical sensor we have inductive sensor and we have capacitive sensor you can mount in the electric circuit as you uh, mount read switch but the you have to know the application for each one of them. Capacitive sensor can can detect any subject, paper, metal, plastic. Inductive sensor to detect only metal. And photo sensor or uh, optical sensor, this depends on the light and can detect for long uh, distance for any object next video we will take more uh, details about sensors but here you have to know in the fluid sim you have four types of sensors you have read switch or magnetic sensor you have photo sensor you have inductive sensor you have capacitive sensor. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.